Hey guys, let's get more news from Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Retooling the Miami Heat with this genius plan for the 2024-25 season. The Miami Heat suffered another disappointing season, despite having one of the strongest cultures in the NBA. Jimmy Butler missed the entire postseason, and that led to a 4-1 series loss to the eventual champion Boston Celtics in the first round. Looking at this summer period, the Heat can create the best team in the Eastern Conference, with some perfect planning from general manager Pat Riley. The first and most important step in Miami's retooling is to acquire the best shooting guard in the NBA, Donovan Mitchell in the biggest blockbuster trade of the year. Trade Details Miami Heat receive, Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland Cavaliers receive, Tyler Harrow, Jamie Jacquez Jr., Orlando Robinson, 2029 first-round pick. The first and most important step in Miami's retooling is to acquire the best shooting guard in the NBA, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, who is coming off an excellent season, 26.6 PPG, 5.1 RPG, 6.1 APG, has solidified his status as an elite scorer and a clutch performer. His dynamic playmaking ability and scoring prowess make him an ideal fit for a team looking to elevate its offensive firepower. The Miami Heat, known for their winning culture and competitive spirit, would provide Mitchell with the perfect stage to showcase his talents in a big market. In return, the Cleveland Cavaliers would receive Tyler Harrow, Jamie Jacquez Jr., Orlando Robinson, and a 2029 first-round pick, gaining young assets and future potential to bolster their roster around Darius Garland and Evan Mobley. Donovan Mitchell's arrival in Miami would allow him to become the first option for the Heat while Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo focus on their defensive prowess and leadership roles. This strategic alignment would create one of the most formidable big threes in the NBA, with each player complementing the other's strengths. Mitchell's fit with the Heat culture is seamless. Miami's ethos of hard work, resilience, and relentless pursuit of excellence aligns perfectly with Mitchell's own approach to the game. His ability to perform under pressure, 29.6 ppg in playoffs, and his commitment to continuous improvement resonate with the Heat's values. Playing alongside Butler and Adebayo, Mitchell would not only benefit from their experience and leadership, but also contribute his own high-energy style and scoring acumen. Teen sensation Alex Saar, who could be the top pick in upcoming draft, asserts Bam Adebayo is better than Victor Wembanyama. As the 2024 NBA draft is around the corner, one name seems to be at the front for some time now. The 20-year-old Alex Saar looks like a promising candidate to be one of the top players in the upcoming draft. With his size and incredible defense, Saar has recently gone viral for his opinion of the defensive players in the NBA. The young athlete certainly looks up to the stars of the league. Recently, Sar did a short interview with Bleacher Report where he was asked to stop the interviewer after a better player than Victor Wembanyama was named. Sar was confident about his takes as he did not react to most of the names, even the prior DPOY winners. Sar passed on Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, and Chet Holmgren but immediately stopped when Bam Adebayo was mentioned. Him, Alex Sar said. Interestingly, this season, Wemby lost the DPOY to Gobert, but Saar still believes that the first pick of last year is better than a four-time defensive player winner. But Saar also believes that the second runner-up is better than both of them. Despite Adebayo not being a similar size to Wemby and Robert, Saar seems to prefer his defense over the others. Saar was likely asked that question, as he is also expected to be the number one pick this year like Wemby. The player is also a fellow Frenchman with the size of 7 feet 1 inch. The predictions are going up and down each week, but if Sark comes ahead in the race, he will join Trey Young at the Atlanta Hawks. All eyes would be on that first pick on June 26. Alex Sar has a chance to pair up with Victor Wimbanyuma. Drafting Wimbanyuma last year has been extremely beneficial for the Spurs, and the team is now looking to build up a roster around him. Despite not having the first pick like last year, the San Antonio Spurs still have the fourth and eighth pick. But the team is looking to move up the ranks for this year's draft as well. According to insider Mark Stein, the Spurs may trade their picks to draft the top contender, Sar.
Spurs are looking to move to the first and fourth pick by constructing a trade with the Hawks. If the Hawks and the second pick holders Washington Wizards are unimpressed by the prospects, the Spurs might grab the opportunity. Teaming up Wemby and Saar will create a solid defensive pair for the Spurs. The team can use the duo's size to also dominate the offense with their skills to reach the rim. It will be interesting to see what moves the Spurs might make and where Saar ends up landing. Jimmy Butler's future with Miami Heat uncertain as trade rumors swirl. Jimmy Butler's future with the Miami Heat is uncertain, with rival teams believing the Heat are preparing to move on from the 6x All-Star after five seasons. Butler is seeking a two-year, $113 million extension, but granting it would limit the Heat's flexibility to add another star. According to NBA insider Howard Beck Butler would be more valuable as a second or third option on a contender, and Pat Riley has a history of moving on from high-priced players before they decline. Jimmy Butler has been the face of the Heat franchise, leading them to two finals appearances, but the team's first-round loss to the Celtics has raised questions about their competitiveness. Rival executives have been buzzing about it for months, for all the obvious reasons. Butler is about to turn 35 with one year left on his Heat contract, and is reportedly seeking a two-year, $113 million extension. If the Heat grant it, they'll have little to no flexibility to add another star. And they absolutely need one. The Heat are considered a tier below Eastern contenders like the Celtics, Bucks, 76ers, and Knicks. Butler wants to stay with the Heat, despite his stunt at the Las Vegas Aces game, but trading him might be the only way for the team to rebuild. Butler's trade value is high, but it may never be the same if the Heat don't trade him now. Teams like the Warriors might be willing to give up significant assets for a proven leader like Butler. While it's uncertain which teams will pursue Butler, he could be the missing piece for any team. And are you a fan? What do you think of Jimmy Butler leaving? Leave your opinion in the comments.